Hello everybody and welcome to our on-screen tutorial this week where we're going to chat about Google Ads Keyword Planner. So you need to be logged into your Google Ads account and you need to also have the bank details set up in order to every, for everything to be active. If you're on the dashboard, the way to navigate to the Keyword Planner is on the top menu bar in the right-hand side, you will see Tools and Settings. If you click on Tools and Settings, a pop-up box with various different drop-down menus appears. And here on the left-hand side, you will see Keyword Planner, and you would select that. I've also noticed that at the bottom of the screen, there's details on how to use Keyword Planner. So we're going to go through a few of those pointers today. Keyword Planner helps you to research keywords for your search campaigns. You can use this free tool to discover new keywords related to your business and see estimates of the searches that they receive and the cost to target them. Keyword Planner also provides another way to create search campaigns that's centered around in-depth keyword research. This article shows you how to use Keyword Planner to lay the groundwork for a successful campaign. These are the benefits of using Google Keyword Planner. Discover new keywords. Get suggestions for keywords related to your product services or website. See monthly searches. Determine the cost. Organize keywords and create new campaigns. It's important to bear in mind that while Keyword Planner can provide insights into keyword targeting, campaign performance depends on a variety of factors. For example, your bid, budget, product, and customer behavior in your industry can all influence the success of your campaigns. Here, if you see below where it says how to use Keyword Planner, there's also an option where you can learn new feature announcements. But when we select how to use Keyword Planner, this little help pop-up box appears. And towards the end of what I've just been through now, you'll see the instructions on how to create a keyword plan. Step-by-step -step instructions, all here, all up to date for you to use. Then we have other options to include discover new keywords, get search volume and forecasts, and also how to understand your kiwi, uh, keyword forecast edit ad groups and location targeting and so forth. So there's so much that you can find within this very, very helpful Google ad keyword planner pop-up box. I'm just going to close down the help pop-up box now and we are looking at the keyword planner dashboard. So this is essentially where you would start and here you can see three plans that I've already created for various search campaigns that I have running within this particular account. So if you wanted to create a new one, you would go into discover new keywords. And let's say for example, we're going to be adding something about driving experiences because this is what we want to be advertising using search. I'm going to put high performance driving, advanced driving, skid pan, and also defensive driving. Here, you can include up to 10 keywords that you're aware of, and you can also include a specific area that you are targeting. We will generally target housing, so I'm going to include that, and I'm going to exclude the country and just include the province you would know where to target your specific audience and you would include that city or region. You can also put a website address in there and Google will extract the keywords from it. And you can even start with a website. I prefer to start with keywords. And off we go, I'm going to select get results. And for the ones that I've included between these specific dates, or maybe we could go in and customize the dates from, let's say, um, 
last month, pops up for last month, just close that little pop-up box over there. And here we have 1,090 keyword ideas available. And that is using variations of the keywords that I added in the beginning. Okay, so then what you can do is you can sort it by competition, high, medium, or low. You can also sort it by average monthly searches. So I assume you would want to be using the searches that are most popular or maybe focusing on the cheaper um, rates that would be for your medium keyword searches. You can see all of the top of page bid or the top of uh, page bid for high range or low range. That will give you an idea of what it will cost you uh, for which position you'll be displaying on in Google. So what's quite nice here is just to spend a little bit of time in the dashboard, opening and closing all of the menus, not even making any selections, but just familiarizing yourself with how the dashboard works for Keyword Planner. You can select forecast, change the dates over here. Maybe you want to do the next quarter. You can change the area that you were targeting over there. You can include, this would be the saved keywords that you've added to your plan. Let's go back that has the keywords over here. And what you could do is maybe add that one and that one and that one. And here you can change it to broad match, phrase or exact. You can create a new ad group. You can add it to your plan. There you go. And it will actually show you and then, of course, you can download it and create a campaign as well. So this was just a very brief introduction, a little familiarization of the Keyword Planner tool, which is very, very powerful. I urge you to schedule some time, put some time aside to go and play with this tool within Google before you start setting up your campaigns and have a read of what I was showing you in the beginning with the Google help box that really helped. And here it will also give you a wonderful forecast snapshot for the quarter ahead, um, a cost, an average cost per click with a suggested click-through rate, clicks and impressions, etc. So it's very visual, it's very clear and easy to understand. It's just a matter of spending a little bit of time in the actual dashboard as well as reading the Google help slide that I had up there earlier to understand more how Keyword Planner works within Google. I hope you found this session helpful and I look forward to chatting to you again next week. Take care.